In this video, we're going to work through the various examples on how to differentiate exponential functions. Our first example, we've got the function y is equal to 3 times e to the 2x. To differentiate this, everything stays the same, but we have to multiply by the derivative of 2x, which is 2, and so dy on dx will be equal to 6 times e to the 2x. Our second example is y is equal to 1 on e to the x. Using our index law, we can write this as e to the negative x. And so when we differentiate this expression, everything stays the same, but we have to multiply by the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1. And so dy on dx will be equal to minus e to the negative x. Our third example is y is equal to the square root of e to the x. This is the same as e to the x to the power of a half. And using our index law, this is the same as e to the power of x on 2. So when we differentiate this, everything stays the same as e to the power of x on 2. But we need to multiply by the derivative of x on 2, which is a half and so dy on dx will be equal to a half times e to the x on 2 which is the same as a half times the square root of e to the x. Our next example is y is equal to e to the 2x plus 1. To differentiate this everything stays the same but we have to multiply by the derivative of 2x plus 1 which is 2, and so dy on dx will be equal to 2 times e to the 2x plus 1. Our next example is y is equal to e to the x squared minus 2x plus 1. When we differentiate this, everything stays the same, but we need to multiply by the derivative of x squared minus 2x plus 1, which is 2x minus 2. So dy on dx will be equal to 2x minus 2 in bracket times e to the x squared minus 2x plus 1. Our last example is y is equal to e to the 2x all cubed. First, we apply the index law to rewrite this as e to the 6x, and then we differentiate this expression. We're going to get e to the 6x, and we multiply by the derivative of 6x, which is 6. So dy on dx will be 6 times e to the 6x. Thanks everyone for watching the video. For more videos on this topic or other topics, please have a look at our channel. We release videos weekly across various maths topics. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and we hope to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.